Your Bibles, you may let's turn to Psalm 34. Amen. Blessed be His holy name. Amen. We shall read from the first verse. We shall read in the name of the Lord. Amen. It says, I bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Isabulia Satumunia. That's right. Agamba Wati. Never sang Amukama, Mubirovio Na. Etendorie, Idimukama Kange, Bulijo. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Eme Yange. Inenyu milizanga mumukama. Aba wombe fu bali ulira bali senyuka. Amen. He says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Mumukuze mukama wa munange. Tukurumize elinyarie fena. Amen. First for he says, I sought the Lord and he had me and delivered me from all my fears. Amen. Uh, verse 5, it says, They looked up unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Verse 6, it says, This poor man cried, and the Lord had him and saved him out of all his troubles. Amen. Verse 6, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. Amen. Verse 7, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Malaika wa mkama asisi la ukweto lola abo abamutia naba lokola. Verse 8 says, O test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Mulege mutegeire mkama ngamulunji. Awele duwa mkisa oyo amwesiga. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of His word. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our precious Heavenly Father, 
Lord, how is good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. For today, Lord, we've gathered in your house. Father, this is a pleasant thing before you. Oh God Almighty, I want to commit this service to you. Father, we humble ourselves before you. We welcome you that, Father, may you come and help preeminence, Lord. Father, may you put aside all our human weaknesses. And let the, the love of God project itself, Lord. Father, I pray may the Holy Spirit visit every person as the service goes on. Father, bless every person. Give them according to their expectations this morning. Father, before they will, they will get what they expect, Lord. Those that expect the Holy Ghost, may you fill them, Lord. Before the service ends, you visit them, Father. Those that need a healing, heal them, Lord Jesus. Those that did comfort, Father, may comfort them this morning. Bless the ministers as they come forth, Lord. Use them in a special way. And we will be very careful to give you honor, praise, and back and praise back to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I want to turn around and greet somebody next to you. Amen. Amen. Tell them God bless you. Good morning. It's good Amen. to see you. Amen. Amen. Take your time. Smile to somebody, please. Amen. 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 Shake somebody's hands. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I believe you're done this morning. Amen. Let's sing this song as we Amen. praise the Lord. Amen. Blessed be his holy name. Amen. Amen. This chorus says, I give myself away. So you can use me. Amen. My life is not my own. But I, I belong to the Lord Jesus. Amen. Won't you lift up your hands to and me? Say, I give myself away. Oh, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Yeah. Oh, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Come on, everybody, lift your voice. Oh, yeah. oh I give myself away. So you can use me I give myself away Oh, yes I do Oh, I give myself away So you can use me Now this one My life is not my own To you I give myself to you. Come on, sing with me. Oh, my life is not my own. Oh, to you I belong. Oh, I give myself. I give myself to you. I give.
I give myself away. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I give myself away. Amen. Amen. You ask me why I'm happy. Amen. I'm not happy because of uh, I mean, what the, the world has done in my life. But what Jesus has done in my life. Amen. 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 This morning, let's give a hundred percent. Amen. Let's put the, the nail in the, 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 the devil's coffin. Amen. 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 Did you hear what I said? Let's put a nail in the devil's coffin. Amen. Amen. If you jump, it, jump with all your strength. If you sing, sing with all your strength. Amen. Don't think about going home. Amen. The rapture can even come right now before we go home. Amen. Let's sing this song. You ask me why I'm happy. I'll tell you why. My sins are gone. Hallelujah, they are underneath the blood of the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, musicians. You ask me why I'm happy, so I just tell you why. Because my sins are gone. Let's 
Blessed be his holy name. Amen. Amen. As the brothers come for the morning offerings. Amen. As the brothers to come for the morning offering. Let's sing this song. Rock of ages clear for me. Amen. Let me hide myself in this. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I believe you know that song. And I believe you know the rock of ages. Amen. Let's sing it together. The rock of ages. Clap for me, who let me hide myself in thee, who let the water and the blood go from thy womb, that side which flow will be of sin. This rock is Jesus. Yes, it's the one. Hallelujah. This rock is Jesus. The only one. Be very sure. Be very sure. Solid rock in time. 
times like this You need a Bible In times like this Or be not idle Amen. But I did say that. I don't know if I appreciate it. Yeah. I didn't say that. Did they move around? Okay, let's pray. Our precious Heavenly Father, Lord, you are merciful to us. I just want to bring these tithes and offerings to you. Father, I commit it to thee, O oh God. May I bless the hands that I've offered. Bless every person and Lord, may you call, multiply them, Lord Jesus. Bless them when they go back home. And Father, may you shield them from evil. For the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Turn around one more time and tell somebody as we prepare for our, our first special. Amen. Sing this song, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, oh blessed be the name, oh blessed be the name of the Lord, oh blessed be the name, oh blessed be the name, oh blessed be the name. Amen. The church from Mubende, if you're here, please, you can make your forward. Amen. 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 Amen.
a little bit far. Oh, they are here. Beba, no? Oh, no. If they are a little bit far, we can have our sister Kizito Constance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sister, you're welcome. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The song says, What will you give in exchange for? After all has been heard, God bless you as you listen. Oh, Luganda, Arie, Walana, Ye, Gotegana, Mwebie, Bigwao, Shingale, Katonda, Kuita. Oh no wa yo chi mu chi fo chi me me yo no wa yo chi oh no wa yo chi oh no wa yo chi mu chi fo chi me me yo singale lu katona kuita oh no wa yo chi mu chi fo chi me me yo chi sa chi kuita to ulira. Yenga kulinda olui sawachi Wa ye meme yo ya muwe ndonyo Ono wa yo chi muchi fokche meme yo Ono wa yo chi Ono wa yo chi Ono wa yo chi muchi fokche meme yo Amen, Sister Constance, we appreciate that song. To see me, you man, as a Constance, all in borrow. Amen. Now, we, let's invite the church from Gombia. Amen. You're most welcome here to sing your song. Amen. Gombia Church. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Someone able to be here. Let me represent them. We were yearning the first day. 
Maybe another thing. My daughter is called Sharon. God called her. In the month of October, 16th of October, is not with us here. We are going to meet her. That's why I'm strong. I cry no longer. So just be faithful. Believe his word. Stay with the message. I'm going to sing. So just to be faithful. Believe his word. Stay with the message that you have had. Send to his prophet his message. Walk in the light where he started to live.
Sister, we are so blessed. Amen. Bless you, Brother Sam. Nice to see you. Brother Sam, I'm saying for Kulaba. Amen. So you may be seated. Let's, I think, have one more special song. Amen. Brother Enoch Kagaba. You can, Brother Enoch Kagaba. Amen. You can come and sing your special song. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless you. I'm happy to be here. And I'm happy for this opportunity. To sing for the Lord. The song says, Until he was all that I had. God bless you as you listen. The storm that was facing was fearful. The ship seems small in the way And the wind just kept blowing harder And yet there was still also say From out of the dark he came walking He had never lost them from view He can see through the darkest of trouble he just wanted them to see it too. That you will never be filled till you're empty. Until you're broken, you'll never be whole. Until the poor has tried, your vessels fell. You never could force his beauty. I didn't know how much he loved me. Until I passed through the storm and looked back I didn't know Jesus was all that I needed Until he was all that I had And you will never be filled till you're empty Until you're broken you'll never be whole Until the porter has tried your vessel is fine You never confuse as pure didn't know how much he loved me Until I passed through the storm and looked back I didn't know Jesus was all that I needed Until he was all that I had Sometimes the storm that you're facing Might seem like the whole world has changed And the fire just keeps getting hotter as the potter is shaping the clay Friend Jesus, he knows what he's doing Even though it's going to you pain Just wants us to know the lesson he showed His disciples are still the same That you will never be filled till you're empty Until you're broken, you never be Till the porter has tried, your vessel is fine. You never confuse us, pure gold. I didn't know how much he loved me until I passed through the storm and look back. I didn't know Jesus was all that I needed until he was all that I had. Sometimes the storm that you're facing. I seem like the whole world has changed. I 
the fire just keeps getting hotter as the powder is shaping the clay. Friend Jesus, he knows what he's doing, even though it causes you pain. He just wants us to know the lesson he showed. I pose is still the same. I will never be filled till I'm empty. Until I'm broken, you'll never be whole. Until the potter's dry, your vessel is fine. You never can force this beautiful. I didn't know how much you loved me. Until I burned through the storm and blue. Till it was over, and you will never be filled till I'm empty. Until I'm broken, you'll never be whole. Until the potter's dry, the old vessel is flat. You never confuse its people. I didn't know how much you loved me until I passed through the storm and looked back. I didn't know Jesus. Till I burn through the storm and look by I didn't know Jesus was all that I needed Until it was all that I heard Hallelujah Amen. Oh bless you brother Enoch Come on, come to some brother Enoch Amen, what a song Amen. Let me call one more special song. A brother Bosworth. Brother Bosworth. Amen. You're welcome to sing your special song. Brother Bosworth, wherever you are. Brother Bosworth, wanna worry. Okay. Looks like he's not here. Amen. Let's get to it. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you appreciate the special singing? Amen. Have you been blessed? Special singers, God bless you. Amen. There's a song we sang, I think, the first day or so. These, these are the days of Elijah. Amen. And say, Behold, he comes. Riding on the clouds. Are you ready to receive him? Amen. Turn Amen. around and tell your brother, God bless you once again. Hallelujah. Let's sing this chorus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Gave you enough time there. I mean, to say hello to somebody. Let's do it now. These are the days of Elijah. Declaring the words of the Lord. Oh, and these are the days of your servant Moses, righteousness being restored. Oh, and God is the days of betrayal, of famine and darkness and strong. See, we are the late desert crying, prepare we the way.
like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no Let me hear you say. Oh, there's no God like Jehovah. 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 Holy cow. Why is all the clouds shining like the sun? And the breakfast only in trouble. Is it true to me? And a Zion new star. One more time, step in. Holy cow. Why is all the clouds shining like the sun? Oh, and the breakfast only in trouble. Is it true to me? Oh, and a Zion new salvation come. Hallelujah. Amen. I mean, uh, Amen. The devil is in trouble this morning. The devil is in trouble this morning. Amen. Let's sing one more song to confuse him more. Amen. You know what, devil? We shall be changed. We shall be changed. We shall be changed over there. Amen. Amen. Will you be changed? Will you be changed? Come on, musicians. Oh, we shall be changed. Oh, we shall be changed. Oh, change from mortal to immortality. Oh, in the twinkling door. Chorus, bless the Lord of oh my soul as a pastor. Amen. Bless the Lord of oh my soul. Amen. Bless the Lord of oh my soul. Amen. Bless the Lord of oh my soul. Bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the Lord of my soul. my soul. We'll worship his only name. And let's lift up our hands and close our eyes. Bless the Lord of my soul. Oh, my soul. We'll worship his own. Oh, one more 
last time. Hallelujah. We worship him more than we have ever worshipped him before. And this is the most wonderful meeting you have ever seen before. Isn't it so? Can't you say it is true? Hallelujah. Amen. So let's have a word of prayer. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for all that you have done in our midst for feeding us physical and spiritually the vessels you have used may you bless them more even the vessel that is coming forth may you bless him abundantly and use him to bless your bride Father we pray for those who are traveling right now from these meetings may you grant them to have very masses and may we continue in one spirit offer in the name of Lord Jesus so let's see it very briefly. I want to greet all of you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We, hand, we had a wonderful service in the morning. Those uh, who, are, who are there, they can testify. Pastor Charlie Seminyu, may God reach a blessing. And uh, he's organizing meetings from this Wednesday up to Sunday. This Wednesday, on 28th, he's inviting all of us in his convention. Even if you are not going, you clap to God. I love what the Lord is doing. He has prepared enough food. He is inviting his chosen. One. The youth, everyone, we want to dine. So there is no excuse. Hallelujah. Amen. The move is on. The move is on. Uh, last night we had a healing service. And it was a real healing service. These are a few of the testimonies of those who received their divine healing. Sister, Sister Mbabazi. Sister Mbabazi. She, had, she got faith that she was healed. Indeed, she was healed. Uh, Sister Faith, Sister Faith, I thank God for healing my finger, which was swollen, that I could not even kill up for God. But praise God, hallelujah. I can now clap and praise my God. Uh, Brother Akor Elijah. Uh, he says he, God has healed him from the pain on the right side of the spinal cord. He could not jump because of the pain. But he says God healed him instantly. Uh, brother uh, Rufuno, uh, brother Rufuno, brother Rufuno, uh, he, he also thanks God for his instant healing. 
Uh, he had something that was breaking and disturbing his ribs. And he received his instant healing. Uh, also, the young man, Mwanguzi Prosper, he was delivered instantly from sickle cells. And also, the mother was delivered from ulcers and tooth pain. So, we are told that if you are not among these, your healing is on the way. Because our healing was finished on Calvary. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So this morning we have another wonderful minister. Brethren, there is something I'm feeling in this meeting. Everything we do, I feel like it should continue. That is me. I don't know how you are feeling. Every song leader that stands here, I feel like I wish you would continue worshiping. Every minister that stands here, is, the time is not enough for him. That's how I feel myself. How do you feel on your side? Hallelujah. Amen. So, but anyhow, we are blessed. So may God bless every one of you. Your attention, attention, you are very much attentive. Those who, following, those who are following us on YouTube, I am sure also you are very much blessed. We are seeing your testimonies. So everyone is so much blessed. So we have another special blessing this morning. We have another dose of medicine. <laughs> Another dose of medicine. Are you ready to swallow it again? Let's stand on our feet. And the song leader gives us a song. And right away we will come, we will receive our medicine. Are you ready to receive? Hallelujah. I mean, we want to receive our last medicine. Everyone that left this pulpit, we are really very much blessed. So, really, Brother Doku, every one of you that have brother stood Doku, here, we are brother us, everyone, we are really brother so much blessed. Good enough, all of these sermons are on record. Every time we want to feed on more and more. So, last med another medicine. <laughs> we <laughs> need <laughs> much more. Go Hallelujah. I mean, there's this song we say, Look and live, my brother, live. You know what? If you don't know, don't worry. We will learn it together. Amen. Amen. Look and live, my brother, live. Look to Jesus and live. It's recorded in God's word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look. Uh, let's clap those hands now. Oh, look and live. Oh, my brother, live.
Hallelujah. A message, oh my friend, for you. It is a message from my father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is a message. Let's repeat the stanza. I have a message full of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is a message, oh my friend, for you. It is a message for my papa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said it, I know. He's true. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. My brother. My friend. Look to Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before your throne of grace and mercy. What a day, what an opportunity that you have given us, Lord, just to come before your presence and to bring our hearts like empty vessels through the overflowing stream of our life. Lord, we thank you, we bless your name this morning as we surrender our heart, soul, body and spirit before you may the Holy Ghost take over may something be said that will bring back the backslider that will give hope to the hopeless that will deliver the palm that will set the captives free. For this word came, Lord, not just in word, but in demonstration of that power. I pray this morning, may we not be hearers of the word, but may we be doers of this word. Lord, when everything else has been done and said, Lord, help us, Lord. We are thy bride. Keep us holy, Lord Jesus. Pray, may you hide me behind the cross. May I not be seen this morning. I ask you, Lord, that you borrow my mortal lips. That you borrow my voice. And speak spirit-filled spoken words. That's what your bride wants to hear. We thank you this morning. We hand over the service unto thee. We know when we give you five loaves of bread will feed 5,000. Your hands will multiply two fish. Lord, before me are not just little knots, Lord. But I know when you take them over, there will be something for this earthly journey. I pray as I commit it into your hands. Never in your history have you assembled men and women like this and have left them going empty handed I trust something you give them this morning I trust you give them something they have never had before I trust you give them something they have never asked today it is a boxing day in this commercial world 
But we also believe it is a boxing day. We believe Jesus is a pastor. We believe those things will be delivered unto us. Lord, we feel your presence. The place is already anointed. Come and take over, Lord. Have your own way. In the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, believe me. Amen. 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 Uh, you may be seated. Uh, I greet you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm happy to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Fifteen percent. If you are happy and you know, clap your hands. Happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, and you really want to show. If you are happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, stomp your feet. You don't stomp your feet seated. If you are happy and you know, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know, comb your feet. If you are happy and you know, and you really want to show. If you are happy and you know, shout Amen. You can do better than that. Shout Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. Want to thank God uh, for, 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 for the gift of life. The opportunity to come to Uganda uh, for the second time again. Amen. God's Amen. way is a past finding out. Amen. Where he leads me, I'll go. I believe I'm in the right place. And at the right time. I did not come here on the basis of human persuasion. But I believe like Simeon of old. The Holy Ghost led him to the temple. I believe you have also been led to the temple. Amen. 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 So we want to thank Pastor Joseph Ndai for the invitation. Amen. Amen. May God richly bless him. His wife, wife, children. Amen. 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 I also want to appreciate the church. Evening light, bright tabernacle. Yeah, evening light, bright Let's tabernacle. Appreciate them. Amen. Amen. It takes a very, uh, you know, there's something about the church that you go to. Do you know we go shopping for shoes, for clothes? But I also believe in church shopping. Amen. Amen. Because church is a spirit. Amen. 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 When you want to see a church, you see what they are criticized for. Amen. Amen. So what they are criticized for, if God vindicates it, that means God is there. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for the church that is behind their pastor. Amen. Amen. The invitation that everyone could come. Won't, won't it be wonderful there? Where where somebody will just pick me from Zimbabwe and say, please come and preach. There's no biological relationship. 
There is no business connection. There is no social connection. But the deep is calling to a deep. I also want to thank all the ministers present. I brought their churches. You are real gallant soldiers of the cross. Minds me one time. There was one minister that we said, please could you come for the meetings? And then he said, okay, I'll come. Then he asked, am I preaching? Then he said, no. Then he said, I'm not coming. Amen. Amen. These people are not used to sitting down and getting preached to. They also want to preach. But if they are Christians, they will sit down and hear somebody preach. I think the biggest bunch that must be preached to is us preachers. We need to get preached Amen. So may God richly bless you. I thought three services were too much for me. Amen. When you have a, more, a car, yeah, it has got two tanks. There is the main tank and the reserve tank. So I don't know whether I use the reserve or the, or the main tank. But I know we still have fuel. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All I know is still a fuel to Amen. Go. Amen. Amen. So may God richly bless you. It was a pleasure knowing you. And meeting you. I want to appreciate our driver. He was taking us all around. Your hospitality. Amen. Amen. We are very hospitable people. Amen. 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 I was actually in hospital. Not only in hospital, I see you, intensive care unit. Amen. Amen. I enjoyed the meals. Especially the silver fish. Nadala Mukene. Mukena Wade Ate Mukuma Yaitao. I don't know what happened. Simaji Chicha Wadeo. This time around ma 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 matoke. What is it? Ah matoke. 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 Eh, this banana. time around it didn't do me good. Kuruno te gampisiza wulunji. But last time I I ate it very well. No, Amen. Amen. So may God richly bless Amen. you. Amen. Amen. We meet to part. We also part to meet again. Amen. This will be my last service. Amen. 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 And then I'll fly back tonight. By the grace of God. I wish I had time to shake your hand and and hear how you are faring. But time fails us. Amen. I'm inviting you if you come to Zimbabwe. Please give a call. We will revenge. Amen. 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 To all the preachers, our church is a city without walls. 
Kanisa ya fechibuga echitali ko bugwe. It's an open invitation. Yo mwa nidizi wa mwena. Come and preach for us. Ja muje muwelezeje tuli. Amen. Zim, uh, here you have uh, Lake Victoria. Wanomuli na enyanja eiti wa narubale. But uh, in Zimbabwe, ne Zimbabwe, the seventh wonder of the world. Tulina echafayo echensiyo na echewunisa. That one is Lake Victoria. On Lake Victoria. But you must come to Zimbabwe where Victoria falls. Ne oino kujaz Zimbabwe nora wa ebirobia Victoria webika. We have a Victoria Falls. Victoria. Amen. Amen. So may God richly bless no you. Amen. 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 So I want to appreciate all the ministers that preached. The testimonies that have gone forth. Amen. May God Amen. richly bless you. The healings that have gone forth. God is still in healing business. Amen. 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 So may God richly bless you. Amen. 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 Uh, I don't know whether I should read the scripture or we just say goodbye, it's over. <laughs> Amen. So anyway, let's just read the scripture by the grace of God. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of um, Joshua. Amen. Amen. And I see another Joshua. Uh, and I see another Joshua uh, interpreting by the corner there. This is another Joshua there. Amen. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Joshua. Amen. We're going to read Joshua chapter 5. Amen. Amen. If you get there, I'll read. Joshua is in the Old Testament. Joshua is in the Old Testament. If you don't know where, where Joshua is, you can ask for the deacon. When he shows you, he's going to rebaptize you again. <laughs> Joshua chapter 5. Amen. We're going to read verse 2. Amen. 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 I want you to relax. Amen. Amen. Don't be uptight. Just relax. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. I don't preach to finish. I just preach until he comes. Amen. Amen. So don't worry about time. It might be ten minutes. It might be five minutes. Amen. When he comes, there's nothing more we can do. Amen. So just be yourself. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 5, verse 2, the Bible says, and at that time the Lord said unto Joshua, Make thee sharp knives. And circumcise again the children of Israel the second time. And Joshua made him sharp knives. Circumcise the children of Israel at the hill of the four skins. And this is the cause why Joshua did circumcise. All the people that came out of Egypt that were males, even men of war, died in the wilderness by the way after they came out of Egypt. Now, all the people that came were circumcised but all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way as they came forth out of Egypt them they had not circumcised oh hallelujah Hallelujah. May God add blessings to the reading of his word for us that he prays for us amen 
Echitiwa netendo tuwikudiza tata. Tukweba za mukama kubanga oliwa no. Kama Yesu Kristo, tulaba, tusaba mukama Yesu Kristo, okubera oko mukama, kuje kukwate kubulisechi nomu mukama. Tubikule mitima jafe mukama, amatu agomu oyo mukama, era mukama Yesu Kristo oyogeleje tuli. Bikula maso gafa agomu oyo mukama. Mukama Yesu Kristo, oh God of Father, waleme kubera ono omu anava wano mukama angaliche echimu. Tuwerenga abo abali kukuboli abo ya emao. Tugamenti no. Bwe ya wadayo gila nafe mitima jafe te jade te jibubu ja. Mukama Yesu Kristo. Tusisinka nebuli omu. Eda sinka nebye tago bia abana wo. No muwele zao mukama Yesu Kristo. Gofse kama futale ilo mukama. Mukoze se mungeli enja ulo. Tukusinza, tukutendeza. Nga bina tusabie mulinye dunji ili Yesu Kristo mukama afe. Amen. Amen. Let's appreciate the Lord. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. Just for a little title this morning. I just want to title my message, Make These Sharp Knives. So from Joshua chapter 2, chapter 5 verse 2, is where we are getting our title. So the Bible tells us, at that time Joshua, the Lord said unto Joshua, Make these sharp knives and circumcise again the children of Israel for the second Israeli. time. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So the Bible is telling us here that the children of Israel they were moving from a land of captivity to a land of milk and honey. They were moving from the land of bondage to a land of liberty. As they, before they move, they were all circumcised. Now, as they were journeying along for 40 years in the wilderness, many people were born along the way and they were not circumcised and then they were going to the promised land hallelujah they were going to the promised land God keeps all his promises Amen. the first thing that God gives a man is the land Amen. 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 So he gives them the land of that promise. And they were wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. Amen. Amen. And Joshua here was the captain. He was the leader that after Moses passed on. Amen. God never allowed Moses to enter to the promised land but he could see it and I believe this morning we are casting a wishful eye over the promised land. And every promise in the book, every verse and every chapter, it is yours this morning. Healing is yours. Your total deliverance is yours. Amen. Let me tell you this morning, what is in this building this morning is contagious. You can pass it on to another person. From 2020, people had COVID-19, had coronavirus, you could give it to another one. So what is in this building? It's too infectious. You can pass it on to your neighbor. Peter said, such as I have, in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. I can rub it to my brother. Amen. I can shake his hand. And what he, he did not have, he can receive it now. And what I did not have, I can get it from him. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, forever. All these three years ago, you were giving each other unprofitable things. You were passing each other flu, coffee, and everything. Hallelujah. But in this meeting, in this last service, oh, I'm going to see you drunk. God is going to be infectious in our midst. Oh, hallelujah. What your brother is God, 
God will do it again and again. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, church of the living God. Amen. It's not going to be one person healed. It's going to be all of us. Mass healing. In the end time. It's later than we think. Jesus Christ healed ten lepers in one service. One prayer. Ten lepers. Brother Branham. 25,000 in one meeting. Even now, cancers will drop. Tumors will disappear. The captives will go free. In one service, he is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, hallelujah. It reminds me in South Africa, 2014. Hallelujah. One little girl born HIV positive, 16 years old, CD4 count. At 19. Ngao Hallelujah. Ngao and he said, Pastor Saidi, could you pray for me? That I die. And I read to her. John chapter 10, verse 10. Jesus Christ. This is where the CV of the devil is. The devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But let me read the CV of Jesus Christ. He came that you might have life and have it even more abundantly. When we read the CV of the Lord Jesus Christ, I told that little girl, you are not going to die. You shall live to declare the works of God. And today she is alive. Her blood is negative. In April, I went to South Africa to dedicate the two babies. She was already pregnant. Are you hearing me this morning? It's still the same yesterday, today and forever. In the pulpit, I declared in the pulpit and everyone who is HIV positive can you come back to the same machine that told you you are positive. That machine has got good news. It's going to declare you are now negative without a doctor, without a medication. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Oh, church of the living God, we are moving into the promises. There is an inheritance. My tent is no more peace in Egypt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are better possessions in the promised land. Oh, hallelujah. That's where your inheritance is. Even this morning, whatever you have been asking for. God will give it to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen Hallelujah. and amen. Adam, Adam never asked for a wife. Because he did not know whether there was a wife or not. But one day he woke up and saw somebody close to him. And he said, this is the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. God is going to give you in this service things you have never asked for. Hallelujah. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given. I am saying what you have not asked for to show that he is God. God who supplied to you. Oh, come 2023. I'm going to see you rejoicing. You say, I never asked for this one. But my God is real. I never presented a prayer request. But God looked beyond my mistakes and so what I need let me tell you church you need this thing you need it brother you need it sister hallelujah glory to God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen amen. I feel the angel is here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He will give you things you have never asked for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will supply. Hallelujah. Amen. So we see in the book of Joshua, he is under a commission. Make these shatnives. Let's circumcise these people for the second time. Amen. Are you hearing me? We have people that have been in this message for a time immemorial. 
been for a long time in this message. But they have nothing to show for it. Until your children will say, you said the seas were revealed. This book is open. But we are suffering here. Amen. I challenged the church one time. And I said, I said everyone that came here was probably you came in by a border border maybe you came through a taxi bus or car won't it be wonderful if you get your own hallelujah I challenge the church in South Africa and I said, what is best? Those that came driving. For one day, please give those that came with not driving. And those that came with not driving. If tomorrow they will give you back your car. They won't give it back to you. They are not honest. And you, brother, your wife gave birth to four children. And she's carrying on the bed. You are very cruel hearted. You can't even buy your wife a boda boda. Mchala oto sola na mugu liraka boda boda. I understand you don't need it, but your wife needs it. Mchitake era gweto jetaga. Your children needs it. I understand you are too spiritual. These are earthly things. I'm coming to your level. Amen. Amen. Brother, sister, if you want a helicopter, I'll pray for you. Amen. Don't ask money for rent. Get a house. <laughs> Until you think cakes are for birthdays. Cakes are not for birthdays. Cakes is a birthday It's for every day. <laughs> Until you think hotels are for adulterers and fornicators. <laughs> oh, you are mentally challenged. Let me correct you. Your prophet went to a hotel. You need to sleep good. And you need to sleep like a king. There is a land of promises. Somebody has got to say it. Amen. Somebody has got to say it. Amen. 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 Don't be too spiritual for nothing. We are in this earthly journey. Amen. Amen. You need nice clothes. If you don't need your children, needs them. Your wife needs them. Don't make hypocrites out of you. Enough. <laughs> right here. I've moved my eyes from here to right round here. There's not even one rich man here. You are comparing each other's poverty. 
you look at that brother and say, at least I'm better. <laughs> you are not. You are comparing each other's poverty. Not nuli olga no gama ntikale ndi wade wade kone da weli mba. Amen. 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 I wish I had money. Singa na ina sent. Money enough when that, when that brother, when that pastor said our bus broke down. Omsumboe wea gama ntino basi ya fya funye vizi. You see the desire in them. Olaba okuya na mubo. I wish I, I wish we had one John Charit. Singatu badene wa ine John Charit omu. That would just buy one bus for them for meetings. Na waguli la bus emu ngaba jeba joko sanga mungunga. Eh, we don't have to hire PA systems. We are still poor. Tori na kupangi sa mizindaro jino tu chali bavu. We must have our own. Do you know where I'm not afraid? Amen. 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 That's not my subject. I was passing through Samaria. Na dem piti da Samaria. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. 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 Somebody was spiritualizing natural things. Israel was told the language where you're going it's not, it's not flowing with the word and demonstration of power it's flowing with milk and milk and honey natural things amen amen Amen. So when they so for for forty years, Emiakana, they wandered in the wilderness. Babu ungetira mukudungu. So in the wilderness, mudungu. Amen. Amen. The moment they stepped into the promised land, ora ingira munsen suvise. Watch what happens. Tunuire chaliwo. Mana stops. Manu nerekira okugua. The moment they stepped into that land of milk and honey, ora ingira munsi ekulukta na matanu. Amen. Mana stops. Let me tell you, brother, sister. The season has changed. Amen. 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 We are in that land now. And milk and honey is falling. The moment they stepped into that in, in that promised land, even enemies change. When they were in Egypt, the Egyptians was their enemies. And then they stood by the Red Sea. Moses said, "These Egyptians that you see, you see them no more." I want to make a declaration this morning. Whatever has been bothering you from this service again, it will not bother you again. Enemies change. When they entered the promised land, Amen. Amen. When they were in Egypt, God was fighting for them with the pillar of fire by night and the pillar of cloud by day. But the moment they stepped into the promised land, their enemies changed. What is the new enemy? The Philistines. And even the mode of battle changes. It's no longer a pillow of fire. God brings the ark. Amen. Even in this time, the ark is the word. God fights every battle. The basis of everything is the word of God. Amen. I've got good news for you, brother, sister. We are going to prevail. We don't need Jesus Christ plus something else. We need him and him alone. We will overcome. In the promised land, the enemies change. Oh, we are changing dimensions. God is changing your enemies. These Egyptians that you see, you see them no more. I'm testing for greater heights. Something good is in store for me. Things have changed. And I'm going to slay each and every one of them. Oh, hallelujah. I don't care whether it's 
dragon, a fish god. Once they enter into the temple, once the ark is brought before them, it will fall. Even tomorrow, if they take the pieces of broken dragon and try and make him rise up again, he will continually fall. There is no weapon formed against you that shall prosper, and every voice that shall rise in judgment. I am condemning it in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. We are in the land. We are in the land. Oh, we can go free. We can walk free. Because God said so. We are in that land. When Joshua saw them in the land, he realizes they were in the land. But they were still poor. They were in the land. They were used to the blessings of the wilderness. But in that land, it's no longer blessings. It's inheritance. Amen. It's blessing you positionally. It's no longer about blessing. It's an inheritance. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. And there was a man called Caleb. Do you know what Caleb, what, what Caleb means? Caleb means a dog. He was an underdog. <laughs> Amen. But when he entered the promised land, he said, 45 years I left Egypt. And now I'm 85 years. And he went one day to Joshua and said, Oh, Pastor, give me not my blessings. Are you hearing me? Not my blessings. Give me my inheritance. What are you talking about? I'm not talking about a blessing. I'm talking about your inheritance. Amen. Hallelujah. In the wilderness, they had blessings. But we are not talking about blessings. Oh, I cast a wishful eye over Canaan's land. That's where my possession lies. This is a place of your inheritance. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't compromise. The second my inheritance even if it's the king who comes and says he wants my land I am prepared to die for it a blessing you are not prepared to die for it but your inheritance oh remove not the ancient landmarks what brother Branham gave us as the bride brother I am ready to convict it I am ready to stand by my conviction this is my inheritance I'm willing to die. To die or to live. Oh, like Patrick Swayze. Give me death or liberty. Amen. I'm prepared to die for my inheritance. But I'm not prepared to die for a blessing. Because they had blessings in the wilderness. But in the, in the, in the promised land, they had an inheritance. And this is the reason why, why many people are not getting the inheritance. Joshua was told we must cut, we must circumcise them the second time again. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are not circumcised, you cannot get that inheritance. If you are not circumcised this morning, you are not a partaker of that inheritance. You can enjoy the blessings of Calvary. You can enjoy the freedom of the city. But if you want your inheritance, Inheritance. Oh, brother, sister, Hallelujah. you must be circumcised. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't care how many years you have been in the message. In this service this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't want your Holy Ghost experience when Mandela was in prison. Amen. Ah. We don't want your experience when Idi Amin was, 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 was the president of, of Uganda. We want you a fresh experience. We want you to we want to see you get filled with the Holy Ghost. Not, not tomorrow now. For the second time again. An experience with God. Hallelujah. Emotions don't bring God. 
Emotions don't bring God. But when God comes, He brings emotions. Emotions don't bring God. But when God comes, he brings emotions. And anything that is dead, anything that is that has no emotions, it is dead. Even if you can say amen, you are dead. Amen. The oldest religion I know is a shouting religion. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Am I making noise to you? Watch, hallelujah. Even if you go to heaven, they will be, they will be shouting. Even if you go to hell, they will be weeping and Wajakwe shouting and wailing. So either way, hell or heaven, shouting is there. So you better start shouting now. You better start shouting now for the good reason. You better get circumcised now. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, brother, sister. Amen. Old as you are. Especially you, sister. Old as you are. Without the Holy Ghost. These children who think you are a witch. Bobango ni mukadenga bodi katinga to ina moyo mtukufu. Abana abato bati yakula bango mlogo. to be so sweet. Amen. Loving and tender. Kumiaka jo bakusubira okubera omuka kamu ayagala. Na yekwe no bango judetima. But you have been through the university of life. Neno ita mu university yobulamu. That should have made you a better person. E andi bade kufulo mutu mulu. In your old age you are still we are still vulgarities there you are still boastful. The best definition they can give this woman is a witch. So what are you saying? Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Then you will be the best grandmother. You will be the best mother. You will be the best father. Are you ready this morning? Receive that Holy Ghost. Let me tell you, brother, sister, you can come to church as long as you don't have the Holy Ghost. You will never get this inheritance. Amen and amen. There were three tribes. Amen. Two and a half tribes that took the eastern side before Jordan. They crossed over to the promised land. Then they said we are cattle racers. They came back on the other side. They had blessings. But they had no position. And these are the tribes. That fell first in idolatry. Because they were not in the promised land. It's very easy for somebody without the Holy Ghost to fall into idolatry. Amen. And among those three tribes, the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gad, the tribe of Manasseh, among them, they never rose a captain. They never rose a prophet. Because God said, go into that land. Amen. As long as you preach without the Holy Ghost, you are still nothing. Go into that land. Possess your inheritance. You become a better preacher. You become a better church. As long as you stay outside of that promised land, whether it's good for you, you don't know what is good for you. God knows what is good for you. Move to that promised land. Hallelujah. And Joshua saying, let us sharpen the knives. Even this morning, we are sharpening the knives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Young man, if you don't get the Holy Ghost, rock and roll will finish you. Hallelujah. Young sister, there are biological changes. Hormonal changes going through your body. You need the Holy Ghost. It's your possession. Don't get worried about the blessing. Get your possession. Don't enter into courtship until you first get the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. It will start the joy bells ringing. It will keep your soul aflame. 
Get the Holy Ghost. Get into the promise. Hallelujah. Chokoto Joshua circumcised them for the second time. Hallelujah. I'm dedicating this message to the older, elder, brothers, sisters, and men. Hallelujah. The young ones, they are easy to get the Holy Ghost now. You have oh, you have stayed too long on this mountain. You know too much. Amen. That's like John Wesley. He, he said, said I, I went to the Moravians trying to preach to them. But he said, said the Moravians converted me. He said I had theology but they had the, the life. life. Amen. Amen. What makes the demons tremble it's not the name. Hallelujah. It is the life behind the name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I remember I got converted when I was 14. And I had an experience of the Holy Ghost. At 21, I had two churches. And now I'm turning 50 and I don't look 50. No white race. That's what the Holy Ghost does. Amen. Amen. I'm still young. Vibrant. That's what the Holy Ghost does. It will turn around. around. It will change your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There's no sickness that can stay in that body. Amen. Amen. There's no power. There's no witchcraft. There's no enchantment. There's no divination that can rise against me. Amen. I've moved in the camp of witch doctors. And they've not done anything. Actually, they testified after I entered into their camp. And they say you have a powerful angel that is guiding you. Hallelujah. There is a powerful angel. He is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, brother, sister, never compromise anything for the Holy Ghost. It's your circumcision. Even in this service, oh, we are our knives. Took even in this service, we are sharpening our knives. Hallelujah. I will not leave this pulpit until you receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That will be a complete failure. My presence here is to impart something to you. My presence here is so that you will gain that the promised land. It is flowing, brother, sister, with milk and honey. I don't know how many spoken words you have read. That is, the, that is not the subject of metal now. I'm talking about an experience. I'm talking about an encounter. If you receive the Holy Ghost, since you believed, it is absolutely necessary that you receive the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is not an option. Amen. It's not an option. God must fill you now with the Holy Ghost in fire. Amen. When they entered into the upper room, God filled them. How many were there? 120. God never filled 110. God never filled 118 and a half. God Fill them all. Even this morning, you say, Lord, fill my cup. You say, Lord, fill my cup. The Holy Ghost will come down. You get circumcised. There's so many possession to be taken. There's too much land to be possessed. Many promises to be fulfilled. But we cannot fulfill those promises until we get the Holy Ghost. Oh, he is here. Hallelujah. Wherever he is in invited. He will come. And when he comes, brother, you will know it's him. You will know it's him. Hallelujah. He will start to feel each and every one of you. Hallelujah. He will start to move in an unusual manner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I saw him do it one time. I saw him do it second time, many times. But the first time I saw him, it was in a meeting. Hallelujah. In South Africa. 500 
hundred people Amatu, this were standing on the pulpit Dwight and said the Holy Ghost is here and, and from one wali right wali. corner Eloku the Holy Ghost so began to move oh, from, from one person, one person to another you know, the you know the second bench is now their time you know the second row is their time God keeps you his way Amen let me tell you this morning your body is connected to the devil your natural body is connected to the devil but your soul amen, is connected to your theophany amen. the link between you and your theophany is the Holy Ghost Amen. The link before you and your theophany is the Holy Ghost until when you are here you are displaying your theophanic behaviors. You are displaying your theophanic behaviors. Paul says it's no longer I that liveth, but it's Christ that lives in me. Oh, hallelujah. It is easier this morning to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. You had eternal life. God knew you before the foundation of the world. He wrote your name in the Lamb's book of life to avoid the deceitfulness of the devil. And when God wrote your name in the Lamb's book of life to avoid the deceitfulness of the devil, check what happens. Then you brought into time to be tested. You bypassed your theophany. Stepped into time to be tested and tried. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Releases life. Amen. There's so many lives that come out of a man. There's one egg to be fertilized. Brother Branham says there will be millions of them. But on the millions of them, one will be navigating. It will be saying to this one, Excuse me. Excuse me. Go in. Blind as it is. Science calls it the spam. That chain of life. It's going, it's going, it's going until it reaches the egg. When it reaches the egg, it fertilizes it. Let me tell you, brother, sister. You fought many battles that you didn't know. You were just saying, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Until you reach your destination. You say, here I come. And here in service. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You had no intellectuals. You had no mental faculty to control the process. Now you are here. You have Chico made it in this life. Kakati then you wadu, think it is impossible to receive the Holy Ghost. Uh, no, no, ah, brother, sister, it, it is easy to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because you had eternal life before you received the Holy Ghost. Don't be like the foolish virgin. Do you know what makes you to be a foolish virgin? Those that have the Holy Ghost, they think they don't have it. And those that have it, those that don't have it, they think they have it. Amen. Amen. Matthew 25. The Bible says, when the midnight cry was given, they were not ready. But they knew where it was bought. They knew where it was. But they never placed the valley upon it. They were carried away by WhatsApp. Ne WhatsApp. They were administrators on WhatsApp groups. And they were always online. But they never realized the importance of receiving the Holy Ghost. And because they never realized the importance of receiving the Holy Ghost. When the bridegroom came. What a weeping and wailing. 
And that's when they realized they didn't have the genuine baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Genesis chapter 25. Let's go back and see what, what the Bible says. Genesis 25. Uh, Genesis 20, 17, sorry. And God said unto Abraham, verse 9, Thou shalt keep the covenant thereof forever. And thy seed after thee in thy generation. This is my covenant which you shall keep between you and me. And, after, and thy seed after thee. Every male child among you shall be circumcised. You shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin. It shall be a token of covenant between, betwixt me and you. He that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. Every male child in your generation, he that is born in thy house, bought with thy money of any stranger, which is not thy seed. He that is born in thy house, he that is bought with thy money, must needs be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man, child, whose flesh of the skin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from the people he that is broken my covenant. Amen. That soul not body shall be separated from my people. Amen. Amen. Brother Branham preaches a message souls that are in prison. Not bodies that are in prison. Souls that are in prison. Circumcision is very important it becomes an everlasting covenant. Listen what he says here. Israel and the church. Israel in Kanisa. Uh, 1953. 28 March. And God gave Abraham the promise. And he believed the promise. And it was reckoned to him for righteousness. But he gave him the sign of circumcision. As a seal of the promise. You believe God by faith that you are saved. And accepted. And when you do, God gives you the Holy Ghost as a seal of the promise that he promised you. The Holy Ghost is a gift of God that circumcises the heart cuts away surplus flesh makes you a new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 It cuts Excess flesh. You become a new Nyama, creature e, in e, Christ e, Jesus. E, no, e, Amen. You cannot enter a new land. Amen. Amen. You cannot enter the promised land with your old nature. No man will put new wine into an old bottle. You lose both the wine and the bottle. But you put new wine in a new bottle. Amen. Once you get circumcised, God gives you an inheritance. Amen. Amen. You must have an inheritance. Amen. Amen. You possess your possession. You possess even your body by the spirit that is in you. You mortify the members of your body. Your body is subject to you. 
Amen. If you have the Holy Ghost, your Holy Ghost body is subject to you. But you can try. Without the Holy Ghost, you will never win this battle. Let me tell you this morning, sin is pleasant to the unconverted heart. Sin is very pleasant to the unconverted heart. But it takes the baptism of the Holy Ghost to convert the heart to become a new creature in Christ Jesus Christ. And all things of the past they are gone. You become a new creature. I want to tell you this morning I became a better young man when I received the Holy Ghost. And it's like oil, it's like fire shut up in my bone. Hallelujah. It's not the Holy Ghost on the knees. It's not the Holy Ghost on the, on the ankles. It's not the Holy Ghost on my, on my waist. It's a river. It's overflowing until my will is lost in him. It's no longer I that liveth, but it's Christ that liveth in me. Where he leads me, I will go. I don't lead myself. The Holy Ghost is a better leader. You don't know what you are asking for, brother. You don't know what you are missing, brother. Oh, come over to this promised land. Oh, and get an experience of the Holy Ghost. It will change something Everything around you. It will change everything around you. Amen. Hallelujah. Any Holy Ghost filled church. Amen. Amen. Brother Branham says in a message, What is the Holy Ghost? What was it given for? He says, It is power to speak. It is power to speak. Amen. Amen. If you have got the Holy Ghost, the word that you speak has power to create. Amen. Amen. Can I create something this morning? Can I know you are a creator. You can create an atmosphere around you. You can create healing around you. You can create anything. Brother, sister, if you've got the Holy Ghost, whatever you say, the opinion of a Holy Ghost filled person is better. Oh, hallelujah. Receive that Holy Ghost. It is the power to speak. Hallelujah. That poor power does not come by living right. That poor power comes by getting circumcised for the second time again. Amen. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you say, brother, in the name of Jesus Christ, I give you rain. Before you even know it, rain will start falling. It's coming from a Holy Ghost filled person. It is the power to speak. It is the power to speak. Oh, I feel like prophesying this morning. Whosoever will desire the Holy Ghost, God will fill you up. Whatever you are going to speak, it shall come to speak. You can speak things Hallelujah, into existence. You can speak things out of existence. It is the power to speak. Whatever you say will come to pass. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel like speaking now. Whatever you speak, it shall come to pass before you even know it. Hallelujah. Brother Brana said at one place, he says this is a sportsman's halo. This is a sportsman's halo. When he said the sportsman's halo, in his mind, he spoke the word. One day, as he was hunting, God reminded him. He said, you remember, there is a place that you say, the place that you gave a name. And he says, I don't remember. He says, you say, it, it is called the specimen's halo. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I've got to give this place a name. It is an upper room experience where God feels genuine Holy Ghost and fire. Oh, hallelujah. A church that will be on fire for God. Hallelujah. When the Holy Ghost comes, it is the power to speak. You start to speak in an unknown tongue. Hallelujah. You start to prophesy. You say, oh, he tripods. Tripods. 
cause hear the word of God and you start to see shaking you start to see movement because somebody is speaking I am speaking tonight oh dry pause you shall live again oh in the name of Jesus Christ oh receive your portion Amen. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. It is the power to speak. Hey, hallelujah. hallelujah. It is the power Demani. to live a holy life. Okay. Don't struggle. Don't struggle, brother, sister. Amen. Sin is pleasant to the unconverted heart. Hallelujah. It's the power to live a holy life. You won't struggle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let us give God the glory. The Holy Ghost is here now. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost is here. Let me give you the opportunity to speak. Oh, brother, sister, speak the word. Speak the word. Wherever you are, speak. I did not say pray. I said speak. Speak. Speak, 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 speak. Speak, it shall come to pass. Come on, Jesus. Come on, pull it on the show. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You get us to come power to speak. It is the power to speak. If you say to this mountain, be thou move. And don't doubt it in your heart. It shall come to pass. Oh, hallelujah. God can grant you new internal organs. Hallelujah. Sister, you are desiring new kittens. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm creating them right now. Oh, hallelujah. As a Holy Ghost filled man. Hallelujah. As a Holy Ghost filled man. Hallelujah. By the commission given to me. Oh, hallelujah. As a Holy Ghost filled man. Oh, hallelujah. God can give you new blood. That HIV and AIDS is gone. That cancer. Hallelujah. Your blood is richer. Just like Paul. Shake that devil. Shake that snake. Shake that rattle snake. Oh, shake that disease. Go for your body. Shake that circumstances. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's the power to speak. This mountain shall be moved. This mountain is moving. Hallelujah. It's the power to speak. Amen. Hallelujah. Joshua cried. He went before Caleb. He said, I want my mountain. I want my mountain. A man 85 years. A man 85 years old. Man. But he was still saying, I want my mountain. What is the Holy Ghost? It is the power for service. Even when you are 85 years, you still feel with the young man in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You start something who energizes you. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. When the Holy Ghost comes, He brings emotion. Hallelujah. With stammering lips. Hallelujah. You start to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's like fire shut up in your bones. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Caleb said, I want my mountain. Caleb, I, I want my possession. He said, you are too old. He says, no, as I remember. He says, I remember that day when God made a promise. Hallelujah. I remember that day. And you, brother Job, was there. And you, pastor Leo, was there. When God gave that promise. When God gave that promise, I want my inheritance. Hallelujah. We are past blessings. Let's proceed to inheritance. Oh, ah, my possession, my possession, oh, a huge portion of heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Portion, I want my possession. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Glory, hallelujah. Amen. And hallelujah. Brother Branham, and see, Joshua said, let's make all the old nice. 
even in the promised land, circumcision had to be done. The Bible tells us God had to take away the reproach of the land of Egypt. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you are a reproach to this message. The reproach of Egypt had to be wiped away by second circumcision. Amen. Amen. They start to feel a strange call in their lives. Amen. You know what a person with the Holy Ghost does? They try and bring the promise of God by their energy. Like Sarah, you suggest to Abraham, you sleep with Hagar. Then we can have an Ishmael. Ishmael. Whatever you produce without the Holy Ghost will trouble you you all the days of your life. Look at Arabs. They are troubling. They are Whatever you do, without the, without the leadership of the Holy Ghost, it will trouble you all the days of your life. So it's real serious business here that you receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! Trouble you all the days of your life. Arabs are still there. They are rich and stubborn. And he was called Ishmael. A wild man. Right? A thorn in the flesh. You think you can enter into a marriage without the Holy Ghost? You start business without the Holy Ghost. You start to preach without the Holy Ghost. Brother Branham says no man has a right to preach this gospel without the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Till they've been at the backside of the desert. And they meet God. And God speaks to them face to face. Then they know something has happened. That's why we have a scrap heap of ministers. That's why this message is being reproached. Because somebody didn't enter into it right. They didn't know where to put the emphasis. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, let's sharpen our knives. Let's sharpen our knives. We want to do a total circumcision. Oh, are you with me this afternoon? Let's sharpen our knives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you this morning. You are not a Jew. You are not even among the 144,000. The only way you can enter into the rapture is because you, what makes you a candidate of rapture is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The bride is ambitious. There are people that are going to heaven because they did good to the bride. There are people that are going to heaven because they are going through the tribulation period. Amen. You think you can endure tribulation period when God has given grace now? What I do with this grace? You think you can make it without the blood of Jesus Christ? You are gambling. You are gambling. You think you can make it without the blood of Jesus Christ? You think you can make it with your own blood? But in these days of grace, when the preacher is sweating behind the pulpit, Telling you the ages of the hour. The importance of receiving the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And you sit like a dead duck. And you sit like a dead duck. You are not moved. You are not worried. Why are you gambling with your life? When you read the book of Mark. Even demons. They did not want to go to hell. 
They said, don't send us to hell. If the demons in their demonic, in their devilish condition did not want to go to hell. They say, no, don't torment us before our time. If you are here, you want to go to hell. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Better, better think again. When demons don't want to go to hell, if you are here, you are not taking serious things here. Hallelujah. If the demons say, don't tell, please, please. Please, please send us to hell. Better, Better you send us to the swines. Better we send us to the pigs. Don't send us to hell. Better you put us in pigs. Even demons don't want to go to hell. And here you are, you want to go to hell. And here you are. You want to go to hell. This is like heaven to me. Without the Holy Ghost, you are gambling. Sister, brother, you are gambling. I don't know, this might be the last call. Tomorrow is never promised to anyone. Amen. This might be the last call. The Holy Ghost Jesus is a gentleman. He says, Behold, I stand at the door. And knock. If any man hears my voice, Christ does not open the door. He says, If any man hears my voice, Opens the door. Oh, this afternoon, brother, sister, open the door of your heart. If you can just open the door of your heart and let him come in and let him enter your heart. The Holy Ghost is already in the pit. The Holy Ghost is already in. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is knocking at your door. He is pleading. The Holy Ghost has been here for 2,000 years. You don't have to wait for the Holy Ghost because he was already here before you were even here. The Holy Ghost is older than you but you are stubborn, rebellious in your nature. You resist the Holy Ghost. You are uncircumcised in your heart and in your ears. Oh, hallelujah. Receive hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't resist the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth. Open your heart now. Don't resist him. Hallelujah. He comes. Hallelujah. He comes in a tender way. He wants to feel you. He wants to visit you. He wants to have a preeminence in your life. He wants to change you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is here. Amen. Amen. Jesus is a temple sprinter. He invites his chosen people. You have been invited to the temple. The master is calling. This is the hour. This is the day. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. When God fills his people. Come on. Amen. One may say to Brother Brana, Captain Alpharai, Captain Alpharai, Captain Alpharai, Amen. 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 Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. He is in control. He is in control. Don't worry. Amen. Amen. Is nothing is out of keter. Nothing is out of keter. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Captain Alpharai. Captain Alpharai. Captain Alpharai. He said, Brother Brana, I want to receive the Holy Ghost. They were in an amari. Full, Full of guns. Full of ammunition. He says, maybe I need to prepare a hotel room. Maybe I need to put on a new suit. Brother Branham says, no. Anytime. Anyway. Even here. A place full of guns. The Holy Ghost will come. 
The dove flew into the captain's heart. Fluttering him. The dove of the Holy Ghost filled that captain. Those Lutheran students, they were told, those Lutheran students put away your tables put away everything around you strike your, your hands against the wall and brother Branham says every one of them God filled them of the Holy Ghost Amen. Amen. Every one of them. God filled them with the Holy Ghost. God gives the Holy Ghost. Do you believe that? God visits his children. To give the Holy Ghost. It will be a reproach. To preach this gospel. Without an emphasis. On the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Do be any reproach to leave you without an inheritance. But brother, you can be in the message. No inheritance. You can see others. God moving them to position. Some becoming preachers. Some becoming song leaders. Some becoming interpreters. Tambourine. Musicians. God is moving them to their position. Maybe you wonder why you have not got your inheritance. The believer's position, the Holy Ghost, will direct your path. Holy Ghost will move you. Where are the seven daughters of Philip that will prophesy? And even prophesy to a messenger called Paul. And say, where you are going, Jerusalem, they will bind you. And the messenger says, not only am I ready to be bound, I'm ready to die. The Holy Ghost will fall upon sisters in church and give a prophecy to a messenger. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, these are the days of Elijah where the spirit of God will move people to position according to the prophets of Joel chapter 2. There are two things. One, the coming of the Lord. Two, the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Samson Samson, with, that, with just the spirit of God upon him, not the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Baptism means an overflow. Hallelujah. The Bible says the spirit of the Lord will fall mighty upon Samson. Samson. Look what he did. Without the perfect sacrifice, without atonement, without the blood, the Spirit of God will fall mightily upon you. And his strength was four times the man, ordinary man. Why? That was the Spirit of God falling upon Samson. But look what he does after the atonement. After Jesus becomes the perfect sacrifice. It's no longer the Spirit of God falling. It's the God himself coming in the individual. It's not an outpouring. It is a feeling. Oh, be filled. Be filled. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be filled. Not a feeling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not an outpouring. To them. Every fiber of their being. Hallelujah. They will feel the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will come. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. In a, such a magnitude. 
Mungeri, in such a way that has never been seen before. Mungeri etala bwanga ko. Hallelujah. 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 The Holy Ghost is power to pray. Do you know why you pray like a microwave? One minute it defrosts. You don't have the Holy Ghost. You don't have the Holy Ghost. That's why you pray one second. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I commit everything. You even know before I even ask for it. Oh, yeah. The Holy Ghost is power. I'm praying. Brother Branham says, I get my messages in prayer. I see visions in prayer. But when you don't have the Holy Ghost, you can't even pray at sacrificial hours. You can't even pray. You can't last in prayer. You, you get, get finished quickly. You can't make love to your maker. Oh, church of the living God. Let's get the Holy Ghost. Let's get the Holy Ghost. Let's, the Holy Ghost. Let's be circumcised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, ministers. All oh, deacon brother. Get the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, ministering brother. Get the Holy Ghost. Thank hallelujah. you, Jesus. Hey. Hey. May deacons bring everyone behind the tent. I want everyone in. Everyone outside, please, let them come into the tent. Quickly, 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 quickly. something is happening. Mangu, quickly, mangu. quickly! Something mangu, is happening. Mangu, mangu. Everyone, Everyone outside that tent, let them come in. Hey. Hey. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes, whoever. Amen. 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 Oh, blessed be His holy name. I'm coming to end this way. Blessed is His holy name. Amen. 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 Exodus chapter four. Verse twenty-four. It came to pass by the way in the inn that God met him. It came to pass by the way. Exodus chapter 4, verse 24. It came to pass by the way in the inn. That the Lord met him in the inn. And smote to kill him. Zipporah took a sharp knife and cut off the skin. Foreskin of his feet. And cast it on her feet. And said, Surely you are a bloody husband, thou so art So he let him go. And she said, Bloody husband, thou art me. Because of circumcision. Moses was carried away with the work. And forgot to circumcise his own son. Musa ya tuali bwa ogendo kolo mulimu ni yeda bida okomo na mtabani we. Olinyoro abi mwenye lutu tege zaati. God wanted to kill Moses. Katondale aga kuta Musa. Because he did not circumcise him. Kubanga jialita kutuka komonde mwanawe. The Bible tells us God was looking for Moses. Katondale ya nonya Musa. Wanting to kill him. Nga nonya muta. When Zipporah. So God was hunting Moses. This was asked by Brother Branham was asked this question. Says, says, did God really want to kill Moses? He says, Na. yes. God looked for him in the inn. Hunting Moses. He said, where is that bloody man? It's now the eighth day. He is not circumcised. His own son. God is not a respecter of person. Whether you are a messenger, bishop, deacon, priest, this issue is very important. If you don't preach this gospel, holy gospel, God will hurt 
for your life. God himself will slay you. Says I'm hunting for Moses. Amen. Amen. And what did Zipporah do? Zipporah he took Goshen. Goshen. With just a stone. Crushed the foreskin. Took that piece. Threw it before Moses. Says you bloody man. And this is how what how Moses was, how Goshen was saved. Amen. Amen. This is how Goshen was saved. Goshen Amen. Amen. I'm pleading for your salvation. I'm pleading I'm pleading for your feeling. That God who feed you with that fire from above. Like Brother Branham says, Amen. Amen. We are those old Kentucky mothers who beat the backs of their children and bring them before the altar. They would leave them at the altar until they get the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. They would take Agonize with them in prayer at the altar until they get the Holy Ghost. Amen. Until they get the Holy Ghost. Until they get filled of the Holy Ghost. Agonizing and say, I am not going to let him go. God, God fill him. God, God fill him. Amen. And Brother Branham says, oh, the angel of the Lord tipped Zipporah yeah, yeah. The angel of the Lord told Zipporah, quickly run. Quickly run. You will lose your husband and your child. Quickly run. And Zipporah quickly ran with her child. Circumcising. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's still the same God. The God of the Bible. Amen. 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 Where are you, Kentucky mothers? Where are you, Kampala mothers? That you grab their son before he's grabbed by nicotine. Amen. Before he's taken away by the pleasures of the sea, did you get an opportunity to bring them before the altar and cry out and agonize in prayer and say, My daughter will never destroy any woman man's marriage. My son who never become a drug addict, who never become a bank robber. Where are you? Amen. Amen. Ugandan mothers that can bleed the blood. Where are you pastors? Where are you preachers? Amen. Amen. That can take some bones and bring them before the altar and cry out before God and say, Lord, fill this person. Fill them with the power Hallelujah. Glory of our God. Amen. Hallelujah. We bear each other's burdens. Amen. So let's get somebody back. No let's bring, bring them, them to the altar. To let's seek the glory of God. Hallelujah. To let's let's take them and plead the blood. blood. Hallelujah. And make sure they get filled of the, the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Softly God. Softly and tenderly as the musicians come. The Holy Ghost is in this building. Softly and tenderly. Softly. Jesus is calling. Yes, Waita. Oh, sinner. Come home. You without the Holy Ghost. You without the Holy Ghost. This is the hour. Amen. Hallelujah. God Amen. is more than ready. To give you the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. More than you are ready Amen. to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh. Amen. So, Jesus yes. is called. It's your portion. Calling it's your promise. For you and for yes. me. Receive. Oh. See on the portal is waiting and watching. Watching for you. Come home. Come home. Come home.
This is home. This is home. He is here. You are weary. Oh. Mothers. Mama. Take your own child. Bring them to the altar. 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 Why should we? Why should you wait? When Jesus is pleading. If you know somebody that needs the Holy Ghost and the Lord is directing you to them, just go to them. Just go to them. Bring them to the altar. Pray with them until something happens. Pray with them. Until something happens. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. You realize you need the Holy Ghost? Oh, oh. 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 Thank you. 
Sim. Jody Go before the angel. Go before the angel. Take that book. Take that book. Become the book. Prophesy to many nations, many kings, many languages. Take that book. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you this afternoon for those that have come before the altar because their hearts are yearning. There's a deep calling unto a deep. There's a deep to respond to. Lord, they are that long. They cannot go back empty handed. They cannot go without. This is unlike you, Lord. When people come to your feast, they get a better wine. They get a better service, Lord. I bleed the blood of Jesus Christ over their lives. May they be circumcised. May they move to their inheritance. May they move to their positions, Lord. I pray. Mothers are crying out for their children. Children are crying out for their mothers. It was Rekab the Harlot who was crying out for his parents and said, Lord, be merciful to my mother, be merciful to my, to my father, father, be merciful to those that I love, oh God, here they are, I help them apply the token, in the name of Jesus Christ, some are not present in the building, but wherever they are, for those that have come Lord, I pray Lord, may they be few, of the Holy Ghost may they testify at that time something happened I thank you Lord Jesus Christ I became a brand new man I became a brand new woman Lord I thank you and I bless your name I thank you for this that they have come humbly bringing themselves before thee like Zipporah death is in the camp like Zipporah an angel has warned us Death is in the camp. But Lord, we know where to run to. We know what to plead. We know who to talk to. We know what is important. Even in this juncture, I pray, Lord, that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be upon their lives. O God Almighty, I pray, I ask this blessing. Oh, May they move move in the resurrection of this power. May May every gift be unlocked this afternoon. Oh God, may every gift in the name of Jesus Christ be unlocked. Be unlocked. May it come to manifestation. I thank you and I bless your name. I want to send everything into your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. Oh, he touched. 
touched me Oh, he touched me Oh, and no The joy that floods my soul That floods my soul Oh, something, something happened Oh, and now I know He touched me And made me whole oh, One more time Oh, He touched me Oh, He touched me Floods my soul. Oh, something, something. Oh, and now I know Jesus touched me and made me whole. Oh, one more time. Oh, He touched. Floods my soul. Oh, something, oh, something. something. Oh, and, and now I, I know that Jesus touched me and it made me whole. Oh, I was shackled by a hair. Lifted up, every heart low. Oh, he touched me. Oh, he touched me. Oh, and oh, that's my We continue in this mood of worship. I believe you have heard, you have received your touch. You are free to continue under this atmosphere as we are preparing for the next service. If you feel you want to ease yourself, you can go out slowly, slowly. And don't interrupt the presence of the Lord in this building. Those who are on the altar, you can continue to your free as we are just uh, entering into the next service. So we don't have any specific break. Let us some leader continue on the pulpit. As those who are meditating, you continue crying unto the Lord. Just continue in this atmosphere. 